So friends, special counsel Jack Smith just filed with the court his proposed trial date. A proposed trial date in the case in which Donald Trump is indicted for attempting to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. That proposed trial date, bright and early in 2024, January 2nd. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, special counsel Jack Smith just came out of the starter's gate fast and strong, filing a motion with his proposed trial date. A proposed trial date in the case in Washington, D.C., where Trump is indicted on four felony counts for his attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election, his attempt to keep himself in power unlawfully and unconstitutionally. Special counsel Jack Smith has proposed January 2nd, 2024. Now, if the presiding judge, Judge Tanya Chutkin, goes with that proposed trial date, the good news is the case will be long over. It will be resolved well in advance of the November 2024 presidential election, such that in the horrific event Donald Trump is actually the Republican nominee for president in 2024, people will go to the polls knowing whether they're casting their vote for a convicted felon who tried to, in a very real sense, bring an end to our representative democracy, or whether they're casting their vote for a completely exonerated defendant, someone who the jury announced not guilty on all counts, an innocent man. Let's start with a new reporting. Headline, Special Counsel Wants Trump Election Subversion Case to Begin on January 2nd, 2024. And that CNN article begins, Federal prosecutors who've brought the 2020 election interference criminal case against Donald Trump are seeking to start the trial on January 2nd, 2024, days before the anniversary of the attack on the U.S. Capitol and also days before the Iowa caucuses. The special counsel's office said in the filing Thursday that its presentation of evidence in the trial would take no longer than four to six weeks, meaning that Trump may need to spend his weekdays in court before a jury in the crucial first two months of a presidential election year as primary voting begins for Republicans. And this from special counsel Jack Smith, quote, a January 2nd trial date would vindicate the public's strong interest in a speedy trial, an interest guaranteed by the Constitution and federal law in all cases, but of particular significance here, where the defendant, a former president, is charged with conspiring to overturn the legitimate results of the 2020 presidential election, obstruct the certification of the election results, and discount citizens' legitimate votes, prosecutors wrote. They also proposed to have jury selection done in December before the winter holidays. Trump objected to the proposal in a Truth Social post, saying any trial in the case against him should wait until after the presidential election. So friends, how about we have a look at Donald Trump's post? Deranged Jack Smith has just asked for a trial on the Biden indictment to take place on January 2nd, just ahead of the important Iowa caucuses. Only an out of touch lunatic would ask for such a date, one day into the new year and maximum election interference with Iowa. Such a trial, which should never take place due to my first amendment rights and massive Biden corruption should only happen, if at all, after the election. The same with other fake Biden indictments, election interference. So friends, not surprisingly, the same old nonsense, the same old disinformation, the same old propaganda from Donald Trump. 
But what I want to do now is I want to share with you one paragraph of Special Counsel Jack Smith's new court filing because, boy does it sing. Here's what Jack Smith writes beginning on page three of his motion. At the defendant's initial appearance, meaning his first court appearance in the case, and in several television interviews, defense counsel has suggested that the Speedy Trial Act is intended only to protect the defendant's rights. Not so. Under both the Sixth Amendment Speedy Trial Clause and the Speedy Trial Act, the right to a timely trial is vested in the public, not just in the defendant. And there, Jack Smith cites to a Supreme Court case called Barker v. Wingo, which stands for the following proposition. The right to a speedy trial is generically different from any of the other rights enshrined in the Constitution for the protection of the accused, since there is a societal interest in providing a speedy trial, which exists separate from, and at times in opposition to, the interests of the accused. Jack Smith then cites a second Supreme Court case, Zedner versus the United States, which stands for the following proposition. The Speedy Trial Act was designed not just to benefit defendants, but also to serve the public interest by, among other things, reducing defendants, in this case Trump's, reducing defendants' opportunity to commit crimes while on pretrial release and preventing extended pretrial delay from impairing the deterrent effect of punishment. And then Jack Smith caps it off with a cite to a third case, United States versus Gambino. Yes, that Gambino of the Gambino organized crime family. That case stands for the following proposition. The public has as great an interest in a prompt criminal trial as has the defendant. Certainly the public is the loser when a criminal trial is not prosecuted expeditiously, as suggested by the aphorism, justice delayed is justice denied. Did I mention that quote came from the Gambino case? And Jack Smith then goes on to emphasize District courts must seriously weigh the strong public and private interests served by speedy trials. It's difficult to imagine a public interest stronger than the one in this case, in which the defendant, the former president of the United States, is charged with three criminal conspiracies intended to undermine the federal government, obstruct the certification of the 2020 presidential election, and disenfranchise voters. And then Jack Smith finishes up by saying, trial in this case is clearly a matter of public importance, which merits in favor of a prompt resolution. Friends, I'm not going to lie. When I first read those couple of paragraphs that I just read to you, they gave me goosebumps. Justice, goosebumps. And justice matters. Hang in there, friends. We're going to get there. 2024 is going to be the year of accountability. As always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.